Gold surging on the back of a weaker U.S. dollar this Thursday. Joining me today is Todd Baba Horowitz of BabaTrading.com. Welcome back, Baba. Daniela, always great to be on with you. So we saw the U.S. dollar index back off after some uninspiring U.S. economic data was released earlier this morning. And gold, we're now up close to 9 bucks, trading around 13.23. How do you see it? I think gold is going to go higher. You know, I, I think that gold was resting a little bit. I, I thought the, the the move up to 1331 was really healthy and the pullback was actually healthier. And, and the ability to hold at 1310 was really solid as well. And, and again, I'm not really so concerned about the dollar anymore. I, I think we found out that the, the currency wars and everything that's going on throughout the central banking system has really taken the dollar out of play and, and gold is becoming a new currency for a lot of people, there or, or an old currency for some. And I think we're going to see that gold is going to do what it's going to do. And I think it's going higher. Baba, you're starting to sound like Jim Rickards, talk of currency <laughs> wars. So it could also be that we saw a lot of traders, um, you know, buy into the early uh, price weakness here and, you know, jumped on board to the long side. Yeah, I think so. I mean, look, I mean, 1310 was pretty solid. You know, as you watch technicals of a market, as they start to stare stuff up, you find these certain levels that you either want to buy or sell, depending on which way the market's going. And gold is certainly starting to trend higher. I mean, I, I'm, I'm officially calling the bear market and gold over. You know, we've talked about it for a couple of weeks, and I'm now calling it over. Wow. You're that convinced. Yeah, I am. I think we're going, look, I don't think we're going straight up. I think it's going to be, you know, up and then down a little bit. But as long as the downs are less than the, the ups, I think we're going to be in great shape. And I, I do continue to look for, I think we'll probably target 1370 will be our next major stop. Okay, so if gold continues this upward uh, trajectory here, you know, and gold and equities tend to move inversely, uh, do you think we could see a corrective trend in equities as gold rallies up? Well, I've been calling for a corrective trend in equities. I did call the top in equities a couple of weeks ago, which I'm still right, but they haven't really come down yet. Um, I think equities are, are in for some major punishment here, which will even help gold more. But but gold is now, you know, gold is really more of a an asset or a hard asset. And I think that people are realizing that they need to have some representation. So I think we're getting some gold players in that never played before as well which is also bringing some strength to the market. All right. Calling the bottom in gold. Todd, Baba Horowitz, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Daniela. Always great to be here. And thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.